Just ask any CCC student and they will tell you we encourage learning beyond the classroom in a variety of ways. One of these is through our cooperative education program. This program allows students in various programs to work in their field of study while also attending class for that program. Here to talk with me more about this program is program coordinator Jane Blake and CCC graduate Cindy Hall. Cindy and Jane, thank you so much for joining me today on Connections to talk about our co-op program here at Cleveland Community College. And I'm so happy that we're, we're talking about um, the co-op because it helps so many students every single semester. But I know that there are certain criteria, um, requirements that um, are required of the students to be eligible to participate. So I'm going to start with you, Jane, and if you can just go over a few of those for me. Sure. Um, students can enroll in either COE 111, okay. which is 160 hours, mm -hmm. or COE 112, and that's 320 hours, if they have a minimum grade point average of 2.0 mm -hmm. and nine hours in their core curriculum, and also they must be enrolled in a study that offers a co-op. Now, Cindy, I know that you participated in two separate co-ops while you were a student here at CCC. Tell me a little bit about those and how really what you learned in the classroom, you were able to also um, use that in your co-ops. Yes, I did. I took two co-op classes. Uh, the first one was last year. Um, I did a co-op for an office setting and I did a lot of filing, that type of thing, um, organizational mm -hmm. skills that I had learned here at Cleveland Community College mm -hmm. through various classes. Mm -hmm. um, then again this spring I took another separate co-op class um, where I worked at a different location mm -hmm. in a totally different type environment, a mm -hmm. totally different work environment. Mm -hmm. um, it was very fast-paced business and uh, I really enjoyed that as well. Mm -hmm. So both co-ops have really been very beneficial to me. Okay, all right. Now Jane, I know that we have over a hundred programs here at the community college and not, unfortunately, not every one of them um, has a co-op that goes along with it, but we do have a lot. Um, that you if you're do. a student in those programs, you can. Can you tell me a few of those or go I down can, the list? <laughs> and forgive me for reading, but it, no, is, a, it is a lengthy list. Okay. Accounting, biotechnology, broadcasting and production technology, business administration, marketing, banking and finance, computer information systems, information systems security, networking technology, community Spanish interpreter, school age education and early childhood education, electronics engineering technology, fire protection technology, industrial management technology, mechanical drafting technology, medical office administration, office administration, and office administration for legal offices. So that is a good list and we have students in a wide variety mm -hmm. of these. Okay, and that, do um, students get academic credit for this or is this just something that's more of an elective? Yes, they do get academic credit. Okay. COE 111 is mm -hmm. one credit hour and okay. 112 is two credit hours. Okay, and how are students um, how do you pair students up um, if they're in a particular program and, and you have um, you know, someone in the business community, community that comes to you and says, look, I, I need a student to work in the office. Um, how do you pair students up? Usually students come into the co-op with a, a place in mind that they would like to um, co-op. Okay. A lot of times students come in and we look at their educational background, their mm -hmm. interests and what they've been doing and try to pair them up with a sponsor that is asking for a co-op. Currently, we have many more co-op sponsors that want a student then we have students that are looking to co-op. Okay. So it's a great opportunity and there are a lot of places that want CCC students. Wow, that's great to know. We'll definitely make sure we get the word out so we can get those spaces filled. Now Cindy, was that your case? Did you know where you wanted to, to spend your co-op experience or did they come to you? Well, actually, I first of all spoke with Dr. John Lattimore, mm -hmm. um, who was over the program mm -hmm. and uh, told him that I would like to be involved in this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the first one I did, um, I had an idea of what I would like to do, and he kind of helped me a little bit with that mm -hmm. um, as far as, you know, telling me what was available. Um, the second one, um, 
you know, when I, once I decided I wanted to do co-op again, right. um, he again had been contacted by different uh, businesses mm -hmm. that were interested. Mm -hmm. And so um, I actually put in a resume, which I had had a resume um, made up from a class that I had taken at Cleveland Community. So I submitted the resume. I went on an interview, just like a real job. Right. Um, and was interviewed by the owners of the company. Um, then I, there was a waiting period, of mm -hmm. course, like mm -hmm. any other job, because they were interviewing several other people at the time. Okay. Um, and so that's how I got in um, with them. So, like I said before, you know, they were both mm -hmm. real good learning experiences for right. me. Well, and I think what um, is so good, just as you explained, is that it really is like going in for a real, it's a real job. Mm -hmm. This is not a give me, just because you decide you want to do it, right. that you're automatically going to, be, going to be placed. I mean, we definitely want everyone to be placed, but you, you have to put your best foot forward and, mm -hmm. and go in and, and use what you've learned and, and show them that you've got what they're looking for. Exactly. And, and also, you know, I would like to also add that not only do you have to satisfy the employer, but you also have a little bit of classwork that mm -hmm. you have to turn in to Ms. Blake oh, okay. um, that has to be done, but it's, you know, it's nothing major. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you are accountable for what you're doing, the hours that you mm -hmm. are working, and, and you do have to do a, a certain amount of hours to mm -hmm. pass the class. What would the both of you say are the greatest advantages to this program? We'll start with, with you, Jane. What do you say? To me, it's a win-win, a total win-win. Mm -hmm. For the student, it's a wonderful opportunity to actually see if the goals you set for yourself are um, going to be something realistic. Mm -hmm. And you get to go out there into the job world and see if what you think you want to do is, in fact, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. For the employer, they get the services of a student for either 160 hours are 320 hours and see how the student does. Mm -hmm. So the risks are very minimal, minimal mm -hmm. um, but the rewards are great. Okay. What about you, Cindy? Well, I, I think that um, it was a great experience for me because I had been out of the job market for mm -hmm. a while. I'd been in a family-owned business, mm -hmm. and with today's technology, I, you know, had been lacking in some areas. Mm -hmm. um, so. Once I became a student and then got the co-op, I had the skills behind me, and um, it really um, helped me to progress in that, and um, I think it was just a win-win as far as uh, I can use the places that I did co-op, I can use them if I did a good job, mm -hmm. which I think I did, um, <laughs> I can use that on my resume, uh, and you know, potentially maybe become an employee of theirs right. if they're looking to hire. Mm -hmm. So I think it is a, a great asset for students. So many benefits, um, as you said, for just not just the student, but also the community. Now, for somebody that's watching and they're also a student at CCC, um, how do they get started? I mean, is it a, is it a prolonged process, or very simple process? How do they start? Um, it's not prolonged at all. Um, mm -hmm. Just go to the CCC website and look under registration mm -hmm. um, to, to get started. Mm -hmm. You can also call Dr. John Lattimore, who is the co-op director, okay. at 704-669-4020, okay. or email Dr. Lattimore, lattimorej at clevelandcc.edu. Okay. Um, John would love to set up an appointment mm -hmm. and work on getting the student placed. Um, Dr. Lattimore and I will help find sponsors, and there will be a very brief orientation at the beginning of the semester okay. to get everything going, and, and then it's a great opportunity to get out there into the professional world and get a good start. Right. Well, and our fall registration is right around the corner, so this is, if you're watching, this is a great time to get in on the co-op program and get started and become a student. Thank you guys so much for talking to us about this program. It's great. I can't wait to have more and more success stories. As you were telling me, there's just a plethora of, of success stories out there. And Cindy is just one of them who has really double-dipped into the co-op program. And, and you were just saying that they all just want a Cindy in their offices and their businesses. So they do. And Cindy we'll is do. employed at this moment, too. Yes, she is. Yes. That's excellent. And that's what we want is the outcome to be a successful one for our graduates. Yes. So good news. Thank you again so much. Thank you. We'll be back right after this.